directing a documentary about John Bidwell, the most interesting pioneer that you've never heard of. I would describe Bidwell as uh, the most important of the American pioneers who came here before the gold rush. You know, if you look at all the Americans who came overland to California, Bidwell is the one who goes on to the most success, the most fame, uh, and he has by far the biggest, the most enduring impact on California's development, California politics, and especially California agriculture. John Bidwell is kind of the Forrest Gump of California history. He seems to be everywhere in the story of California history, but he also seems to have managed to cultivate relationships with people uh, who we still think of now. Uh, people like John Muir, who is certainly someone that people not just in California, but uh, across the country and across the world are familiar with. This all started when I was a writer for a local newspaper, and John Bidwell's mansion was getting closed down due to state budget cuts. And so I was assigned the story, and I had to figure out why, why people should care about this guy, why, why they should save the mansion. He actually walked some 300 miles, he's credited with walking, from Southern Ohio to Northern Ohio to go back to the school where he had originally been to get what would be the equivalent of a high school education. And then he hears about California and he ends up deciding to, well, organize this wagon train. Then they famously branch off. Uh, once they get to Southern Idaho, they take off and just blaze what becomes the California Trail. I did some research and I found out that this, this guy, John Bidwell, was just this amazing man in his time. He did so many things, more things that I could even dream of in, in one lifetime. John Bidwell did change his name to Juan and did become a naturalized Mexican citizen. I have seen his Juan Bidwell signature, um, which is just a fascinating thing to think about. You know, he gets involved in the uh, Bear Flag Revolt and uh, becomes a veteran of the Mexican War. Bidwell organized uh, a number, a handful of uh, European Americans who were here in the uh, Chico area and they took quite a group of native people with them to go look for gold on the Feather River. He's actually the person who goes to Washington DC to bring uh, gold bearing quartz to Washington DC as a symbolic contribution to California statehood. He founded the city of Chico and at that time Chico was this huge experimental farm. John Bidwell is a huge reason why California is this massive agricultural producer that it is today. Bidwell sort of played that role. I mean, his experiments he conducted at Rancho Chico, a lot of other farmers in California sort of go to school on Bidwell's experiences and his experimentation with all kinds of different crops and techniques. The ranch was what he focused on that really uh, was the great satisfaction of his life. We think about John Bidwell having an agricultural empire, which of course he did. And then of course he capped his career with his unsuccessful campaigns as the Prohibition candidate. Uh, for governor in 1890, that was his last run for governor, pretty much ceremonial in the Prohibition, the head of the Prohibition state ticket. And then in 1892 when he ran for president, as the uh, Prohibition Party candidate for president of the United States. This guy did so much for our, our city, our state, even for our nation because he was a senator and he even ran for president. And the people in his town didn't even really know. And I just felt that that was wrong. I just decided that this documentary needed to be done. People needed to hear his story. He certainly was a man of the 19th century and born into the early part of the 19th century and died in the year 1900 there. So his life really swept across uh, all of those years. We'd like to find the real man behind the myth, set some of these legends aside and find out really who he was, if he was a good man or a bad man and let you decide as the viewer. He, he had his faults, he was a human being, but from my research and historians I've talked to and you'll see in the documentary, they kind of feel that he was a genuine guy. I mean, he was genuinely 
good to people, all people, especially for that time. And that is a rarity in itself. If you had to choose one historical figure in the timeline of California to represent itself, who was there for big, major events during its history, that one person would be John Bidwell. Simply by learning about John Bidwell in a documentary, you will also learn California's history simply because he was he was there. It's just remarkable. He he pops up in so many different places and times and he was just an eyewitness to history. This man needs to be learned about. He needs to be studied because he he represents California's history.